found the first ice of the season. Will it be safe enough to fish? Here, you wanna hold that? Well, I was gonna step on it for you. <laughs> oh, you wanna do it? I'll, I'll let you. Care. Okay, oh, here. He's gonna do it, film him. I better test it just to be safe. Well, I don't know, guys. Ooh, oh, it looks ooh. Like it might be able to... Oh. oh. Looks like we're not fishing for another week. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, thanks for tuning in. And on today's episode, uh, we're getting away from fishing. We're gonna do a bit of hiking and doing some cooking. Uh, Limestone City Angler, he's gonna be doing something on his channel, so be sure to check that out. Link will be in the description, like always guys. And I'm out here with Ben as well. He's gonna be doing a bit of fishing and I'm gonna cook up some mean moose burgers. What's not better than going back to woods, back country, Ontario, and cooking some moose burgers and some brook trout on a fire. So I hope you guys enjoy, stay tuned, and uh, let's get to the spot. Okay, so we made it to location, and uh, like Luke was saying, I'm gonna literally steal his words on this one, because we joked about it earlier. Um, what a good way to close the season out. Uh, ice season's gonna, is approaching right quick, and I can't wait to get on the ice. Uh, we got some killer ideas for this winter, so I can't wait. Um, Luke's setting up his way of cooking. You definitely gotta tune into his channel to see that. It's gonna be really cool and uh, I'll have my burgers cooking beside it, so that's gonna be awesome. Moose burgers in the back country, and some brook trout caught in a back lake and in the back country of Ontario. Like, what's not better than that? I, like, this is gonna make an awesome upload, guys. Uh, Ben's here with us, and Luke is already working, and let's get to it. I, like, I gotta start making food. Okay, this is a quick sneak peek at what he's doing. But like I said four times before, tune into his channel to see. Alright guys, it is time to make the moose burgers, my favorite part. First things first, got an onion, got a clove of garlic, I brought some uh, Montreal steak spice, I'm going to put a little, bat, a little bit of that in there, brought some pickles, butter, real cheddar, not that craft stuff, and obviously the best stuff, moose meat. Alright, so let's get it prepared. Alright guys, the pièce de résistance, the moose meat. This was harvested by a good friend of mine. I'm not going to name any names, but thank you very much. It is delicious. 
and uh, what not better way to enjoy it than in the backwoods. And uh, I'm keeping this one simple. I got the moose burger. I brought a little bit of um, Montreal steak spice. I know some people are going to condone me for putting spices in moose, but I like to have a little bit of bite when I eat my food. So we're going to add a little bit of this, and that is it. After that, it's all going to be butter and onions, which are frying up behind me now. And that's already smelling delicious. And then that, we're going to throw that on a bun with some cheese. And I brought some condiment for the boys if they want some. And then uh, next time you'll see me, you'll see the burgers cooking. are looking awesome all right guys as promised moose burger and uh, according to everybody else apparently it's really good so, first bite let's see oh my goodness bang boy bang boy nice mm. The only thing that could make this better is if Benny C, if you were here, buddy, <laughs> we miss you. Next time. Mm. That warms up the soul, boys. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. This. I'm like so entranced in this burger. It's like I'm not even in the woods right now. I'm just like here in the burger eating. You know, it's like, oh yeah, I'm out in the middle of the crown land. There could be a hunter shooting at me. Or a bear smelling our wonderful food. Oh, uh, yeah, that too. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I tell you, the burger's good enough. I'd fight the fucker for it. <laughs> I mean, that's a legit moose burger. Maybe I'd throw the bun because it smells like the burger, and I'd eat the burger while I'm running. Some good thinking. Uh-huh. Mmm. That's so good, I didn't even put anything on it. Oh yeah, I put the pickles on and that's, that was enough. That's it, right? Ah, I'm not a pickle guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put just enough steak spice that it gives it that mm -hmm. flavor. Yeah. yeah, you don't even like really notice it. It's just like, yeah, it complements it nicely. I wish Taste Division existed. This is so delicious, guys. You don't even know it. The only thing better to wash down a moose burger than a Ryan Coke is just a regular Coke. Instead of the Coca Cola, if you want to sponsor me, that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah. And what a better way to wash it down? He's talking about Coke. Coffee. You guys know I love my coffee. Not too many episodes that I'm not, or uploads that I don't have coffee in my upload, especially ice fishing. Did the trick, I warmed it up half hour before, put some warm water in it. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Mm. I, like, my taste buds are like flipping out right now. And if you've never tasted meat until you've tasted it, at least medium or medium rare. Yeah. Because that's when you're truly getting your taste out of your meat. Yeah, I squeezed it a bit and I saw a little bit of blood on the like, Did you? Oh, yeah. Sorry, boys. No, like it was I got just a little like, gun hole on that one. That's it wasn't like even mine. like super red. It was like clear kind of red. It yeah, was like... but it's 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 wild meat, so it's a bit. It, it will be bloodier than your typical beef. Okay. 
Yeah, because there isn't like fill or it's a, it. Yeah, like I I think there may be maybe like five to ten percent of pork fat in it. Because when you when you make burger, you can't just make straight up food. You can. It'll be so lean though. Okay. When you cook it, it'll burn so quick. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Happy eating, boys. Let's go back to. Oh, look at that, guys. I think I'm too close. <clears throat> You guys don't understand. Um, it fish, is. fish tastes so much different when you actually have to work for it and prepare it. In this way, we did everything uh, Luke's primitive way of starting the fire, cooking it, everything. Like the only thing we didn't do primitive is aluminum foil. We didn't have yeah. uh, proper leafage for that. So. Good job, buddy. Success. Success. Yep. It's so delicious. That nice orange meat. And uh, mm -hmm. you guys don't even know. I'm restoring this right now. I'm like, I'm a little kid here. I'm destroying this. Mm. Here's something I've learned too. Super delicious. Cooking brook, brook trout or splake, cook it with the head on. It saves it something better with the flavor. I don't know why, but it's true. You guys can all say it's wise tales that, but it isn't. Pull it just in. Put it with the head. Boys, that's all she wrote. Yeah. Oh, fucking destroyed that. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. The brook trout was delicious. The moose burgers were awesome, unreal, really good. So, tune in to Luke's channel and uh, check out how he cooked that brook trout. Like, it was phenomenal, it was really good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button and that subscribe button. We'll catch you guys in the next video. All right. Good to go? All right. Let's make like a baby and head out. Oh yeah. Nice.